everybody! Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming back here with a new game. It's gonna be Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3 on the Game Boy. I'm playing on the MGBA emulator, and so. And so I thought I'd give this a try here. So here we go. I love the MGBA, it's so much better than the TGB Ultra or whatever it was called. Because not only does it play uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, it plays Game Boy Advance games too. So here we go. We are Wario, we are on the hunt for treasures. Standard platformer game. Boink. Boom. Now instead of of a hundred coins giving you um giving you lives, it's the hearts. The hearts a hundred hearts give you an extra life. The coins are actually currency in this game. And I'll show you later here once we Once we get to the end of the level. Take the coins. And I'll, I'll tell you all how the game works. Because there are uh, multiple endings to this game. I'll explain it all when we get when I get to the end of the level. It'll make more sense once I get to the end of the level. Boom. Viking Wario has that special ability to... Smash enemies with his ass. <laughs> Take that arts. Now, you see, we can go further, but we can't go up that ladder. This game um, is one of those games where as you progress through the game, the levels change. I don't want to break that block if I can avoid it. And this game has a super jump ability to it. If you hold up while you jump, you jump higher. I don't think they intended for that, but... Take my coin. And there are hidden blocks here. Like that. And we can't go in that one because we don't have the right setup for this level yet. And there we go, just got a life. Okay, so now we're coming up to the end of the level. Here's the thing about this game. To beat a level, you have to have at least 10 coins. They're gonna show you right now. They give you the first one for free, but if you hold up and B, you summon 10 coins. And then you, you're supposed to throw it in there, and it opens the level. Or it opens the exit, I should say. Okay. Here's where the coins are currency. You spend them for either the... Uh, you can get more coins for a guessing game, or you can get more hearts for uh, like a shooting range kind of game. So we're going to do the shooting range. Uh-oh. Oh, I was way off on that one. Ah, my finger slipped. Wait for him. Way off. Yep. I should have waited again. Spot in that time. There we go. Spot 
in that time. Now, I got 70 hearts for that. Okay, so now you're going to see a coin counter here, treasure and coin counter. The A, B, C, D, E, all, all the letters down there, those are the treasures. To get the good ending, you have to get all the treasures. The coin counter up here, the six coins here, that coin counter does not matter when it comes to the good ending. The only thing that matters is the treasures. And of course, I've got a guide on where all the treasures are. I, I used to know where they all are, where they all were, but it's been so long since I've done this that I had to get the guide. And here's another little funny thing for you 90s kids. This here is a Sega controller, Sega Genesis controller. I'm playing a Nintendo game with a Sega Genesis controller. <laughs> Here we go, level two. Now, to collect treasures, um, you cannot start collecting them until after you beat the first boss. There's a boss in every um, map. And you cannot start collecting treasures until you beat the first boss. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a, something up there in there. Forgot about that. Oh, I used to be good at that. I used to be able to... Oh, look at that. I made that. Here we go. All right, Dragon Wario. He blows fire out of his hat. He can also blow fire when he's underwater, which somehow works. Don't question the logic, you know. Okay, so right here is a checkpoint. It costs 10 coins to activate it. I'm no wuss, so I'm not gonna activate it. Another dragon Wario. We'll go ahead and why not? Oh no, give me that coin. There we go. Now, later on, when you're after the treasures, ooh, there's the jetpack. We'll take the jet, Wario. Why not? Jet, Wario, he runs faster. Or moves faster, I should say. But he's also the weakest, because he doesn't have any attacks except for this dash, which you would get with standard Wario. Ah! Thought I could be slick. Whoa! Oh, there's no secret. I thought there might have been a secret except for that part. Okay. Dragon Wario? We don't need Dragon Wario, I don't think. Ah. There we go. We'll just fly over here. I believe there's a secret up here. Nope. We don't need you throwing your boomerang. And there you go, that's how you open the exit level. You have to have 10 coins to open the exit door. Now you don't have to play these games, you can just go straight for the goal if you wanted. But, um... I always play these just so I can try to get lives. Wait for 
for him, wait for him, wait for him. Boom! Shit, I fucked that up. Boom. There we go. So I got a life. Great. Okay, so the goal right now is just to beat the levels until I can get to the boss level. Ah, fuck. That's the thing, if you get hit just once, you turn into Small Wario. You don't get a... You don't go to Standard, you just go to Small Wario. But there's plenty of power-ups here in this first map. Or first area, or whatever you want to call it. You don't have to get a mushroom, then a uh, fire flower like in Super Mario Brothers, which I'm thankful for. The soundtrack to this game is actually kind of good, you know? That was kind of cool. Hidden box right there. Okay, and if you paid attention, over here is a hidden way to go down. To a hidden door. We'll get some coins. You can keep your knife. I don't want your knife. <laughs> now we got Viking Wario. Viking Wario is the strongest when it comes to physical attacks. Don't worry about going down here. There's nothing really down here. Yet, anyway. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite theme in this game. Ha! Ah, stupid. Stupid sand got me. Later on, we go up there. Okay, and at the end of every level, if you're small Wario, you get, you get your helmet back. You get your standard helmet back. So... It's not that big a deal if you lose your power up. Later on, it's a big deal, but um, right now, it's not that big a deal. Wait for him, wait for him. Boom, barely got him, but I got him. Wait for him. I was off on that one. Off on that. Oh, I got him that time. Okay. Got him that time. Cool. Four out of five. Not bad. I got two. I got two lives out of that. Two lives out of that. Nice. Okay. Shit, we got a thwomp chasing us. Oh, 
Because if you're not fast enough, that blob's going to get you. Key thing on ladders. Jump as high as you can and then press up and you'll grab onto the ladder. Okay, so now we're trapped. What do we do? What do we do? Well, here comes the thwomp. We jump up here. And you see he's surrounded with spikes, except his head. We jump on his head. And we go for a little ride. Duck under the spikes. I always hated this level as a kid. Because of those stupid bat things. See, can I make it? No, I can't make it. <sighs> Thought I could. At least I got my standard one back. Of course, you gotta have your standard to get through this. God, I had trouble this level. Ah, oh, he's catching me! He's catching me! There, we got away from him. Now watch this! You want to get some coins, watch this! Boom! Because you were slick, and you were able to... Get the thwomp to crush the enemy, you get 10 coins for doing it. And this one's a freebie to get out. Well, I don't know why some of them are freebies. I don't know why. Not that I'm knocking it, but... Wait for him. Boom! way too early. Oh, may as well just throw that one. Not enough power. Boom, there we got him. There we got him. Got a life out of it. Nice. If you get good at that bonus game, you end up getting a ton of lives. Alright, so now we're coming to our first boss level. The skull levels are the boss levels. What? Come on. I jumped on him. I jumped on him. That's... that's wrong. I jumped on him. You cannot enter a door with anything in your hand. Boom. If you hit a spike, it's an automatic death. Okay, there's one right here. Boom. And about hit that spike there. Boom. And yes, you are timed in these levels. There's the checkpoint, but we're not going to activate it. Again, I jumped on him. I question the fucking hitboxes in this game. I know I jumped on his head. I know I did. 
See, and that's what happens when you hit a spike. I don't know why I'm having trouble here. I, I don't know why. I've never died at this level before. There we go. It's not that big a deal if you die. You just lose a life. You just lose all the coins you collected in the level, so... There we go. What was it about the 90s where you went around collecting things? Like, the N64 games, that's what you pretty much did. Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64. Um, you collected stars in Super Mario 64. You collected puzzle pieces in Banjo-Kazooie. You um, collected, like, what was it? Like, banana coins or something in... Um, Donkey Kong 64. What what was it about that era that just... Oh no, I ain't making that. I thought I could be slick and make that. No, I can't make that. Alright, now let's try this again. Boom. There we go. There. Bastards. Now, if you get an extra power-up, um, if you get the a duplicate power-up like this, you'll just get 10 hearts for it, which is nice. Boom. There we go. See, there's a hidden door here. You want to hit these boxes first, and then come in here. There's a switch. You hit the switch. And it takes away those blocks that were blocking these item blocks. And here we go. First boss. Because we're Viking, we can go boom. Three hits, he's down. Ah, crap. He suckered me. So now I gotta get him while he's coming down. Which I just did. You get a ton of coins for beating the boss. It's a coin grab. No, no, no! I wanted that tank once. Okay, so we're going to do Course A. Course C is the easiest, Course A is the hardest. I screwed that up. That's okay. Let's see what was going on here with my phone here. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought maybe someone needed something from me. 
So, okay, now that we have beaten the first boss, we can go back to Rice Beach. The tide has come up. That's what I mean by the world's changing. Okay, so now let's look to see where the treasures are. Course three. There's only one in Rice Beach. And I'll explain how to get the treasures. See, as you can see, the um, course has changed. Now there's water all over here. See, now there's a key door here. This wasn't here the first time we were here. So, as you can probably guess, you need a key to get into the tre to get into that door. Okay, give me a sec here. And and the keys are usually easy to find. And sometimes you gotta look for them, but this one's an easy one. It's just right here. So now we take this key. We come all the way back here. And we put it into the keyhole. Ow! And now I can't go in there yet because I don't have a power up. Now I gotta find a power up. You'll see why I need the power up here in a second. One in here. No, just the... Okay. Stupid crab. Okay, so to get the treasures, you have to have a power-up. You have to have one. Um, you'll see why in a minute. There might be one down here, now that I'm thinking about it. There is, right here. Now I gotta get back there without getting hurt. It's gonna be a hard thing to do there. We got it. Cool. I was afraid I wasn't gonna make that. Okay. Now, this is why you need the power up. To open the treasure chest, you have to have a power up. You cannot do it as small Wario. So here we go. First treasure. Now, According to Game Facts, you do not need to finish the level. But I like doing it anyway, because, you know, what if they're wrong? Because then I don't have to come back and get this again, so... And it doesn't kill me to finish the level, you know? It really doesn't.
really nothing down there except, like, just coins and shit, but whatever, I don't need that. Alright. Wait for him. We'll let him go down there. Now we can come up here. And we can take the secret exit out. I always do this just so I can get lives. You know, or at least try to get lives. Boom, there we go. And now, because I took the secret exit out, we open a new level. This one, you get a ton of coins. This level really is for lives. So you can play that mini game to get lives. But what you do, you hit your ass and hit those crabs, and they drop coins. You gotta be fast because they'll run away. So this is kind of a bonus coin level, kind of, sort of. They don't attack you, they just hold the coins. There we go, we got them all. And that'll be it for Rice Beach. Now we can go to Mount Teapot. Whoops, I meant to go to Course B. I didn't mean to hit C, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, four out of five's not bad. If I would've got all five, I'd've gotten that life, but that's okay. That's okay. Like I said, the coin count here for the treasure doesn't matter. It's only the treasures themselves. Now we're going to Mount Teapot. And we need to see here... Nope, this is seven. So we have nothing here. So, stupid bird. Oops. There, we got a life. Ah, you didn't get me. <laughs> There we go. Now, if I remember right, one of these has got a secret in it. I 
think it might be that one. But we can't do anything about it because we don't have Jetpack Wario. Hoping to get that one. Nope, I couldn't get him. Yeah, get away from those bombs when you hit them. Ah, he was a little too far. I was hoping I could... And the bomb's gonna blow up those blocks for us. Now, one thing I should probably tell y'all, who called earlier? Um, it was my... I, I have a girlfriend nowadays. Yep. I met someone, she's really cool. Um, she did ask me not to uh, tell you all her name or show a picture or anything, so I, I'll, for privacy I won't do that. But, um, yeah, that's who, that's who called earlier, was her. She accidentally called me is actually what happened. So... And I, I've done that, I've accidentally called people before. So, you know... She's just making sure I had breakfast and, well, I had lunch, but I, I kind of woke up late today, so. But she just wanted to make sure I ate, took my meds, you know, that kind of stuff. And it, it's nice having having her watch out for me, you know? It, it is. It is. It's, it's really nice. Damn it. I'm not getting any of them this time. There, I got one at least. Shit. Okay. Okay, so Course 8 has a secret exit to it. And we will be taking it first. It's just the way I like to go about this world. Mount Teapot. Alright. I have to come back here and do it this way. There we go. I thought that was the... Thing I was looking for, but apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, you can, you can make it through that way. Okay, cool. He about got me. That's what I was looking for. Eve, this one's the ah, firework. That one's just the checkpoint and a heart, isn't it? I think so. Nope, it's another jetpack. So we'll just drop down here, get some coins. Huh! Secret... Secret box. There we go. Now, 
if I remember right, one of these has the secret exit, I think. I'm thinking. That's why you want to get rid of those pelicans. They spit out bombs. But it's actually useful if you can get those things to... Boom. There we go. Now. We're going to wait for a minute. We're going to... Just so we can get him from underneath. Get our hearts. Get that coin. There we go. Nice. That box is hard to get. It's what leads to the secret, but I'm not sure. Nope. Here it is. Here's the secret. Boom. Just to get them out of there. And you fly over this away, which I wasn't high enough. There we go. Now I'm high enough. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so because I took the secret exit out, we're going to the secret world, which is Sherbert Land. Sherbert Land is not on the main path. You do not have to come here. So, we're going to look for treasures. So, of course, 16, so 14, so we're good for now. And Sherbert Land is actually kind of hard. Um, but of course, why shouldn't it be? Because it's the secret, it's the secret world, so... So you're not going to see me messing around with the uh, um, power-ups. Or the enemies. I'm not taking... There we go. Throw him out of there. That was just checkpoint. Actually, 
actually the checkpoint kind of punishes you a little bit because when you die, you start as um, standard Wario. Or regular Wario. And mostly the power ups are at the beginning of the level. So. Uh uh. I'm not doing that. I think all it is is just like a heart or something. I, I, I don't think it's really anything special, so. Whoa! And that was stupid. Yep, I shouldn't have done that either. I used to be good at all these tricks. I used to be really good at all these tricks. Well, upgrade to you. I remember I played this game as a kid so much that I got so good at the jumps and the tricks and all that. you go. Boink. I kind of remember when this game came out. Kind of. My mom hated it because she didn't like that you were playing as a thief. She didn't mind the original Final Fantasy playing as the thief character because um, you didn't steal anything. All the thief did was help you escape from battle. And I need those ten hearts. But you see why I play that minigame every time at the end of the stage? It's, you know, you're gonna end up getting a ton of lives doing that, so... be just right, but nope, I was too early. spiky things that go on the ceiling to drop, um, you can do that butt bounce thing and make the screen rumble and they'll fall off the ceiling. Okay. 
Get Wario. Okay, now if I remember right, those spiky things. Oh, I made one of them despawn. That was pretty funny. Boom. That's what I wanted to do. And those spiky things, you hit them in the nose, not from the back. Those little white things, they're just Goombas. You can just kill them any way you want. For him to turn, boom. And we'll just run back like this. Oh, I should have picked him up and threw him. That's okay. Fuck it, I'm not going after those extra points. That's where you end up dying. You know? Down you go. Now, here is a secret. I believe you need the jetpack for it, too. I believe you do. I believe you need the jetpack for it. And you have to come over here to activate it just to get the exit anyway, so you may as well just go after the secret. you throwing your boomerang at me. Okay. There, just to keep him from causing me any trouble. And then... the dog. There we go. Ah, I must be used to... Stupid dog. This is why I kept Jetpack Wario. Yep, here's the secret. Let me see what's what here. Another heart. Alright. In we go. Okay, so now we need to take the other exit, just so we can get to the other course. I thought that was a secret exit, apparently not. That one's the same, that's the regular exit. Well, for how much you had to bust your balls to get to it, 
did you think that would have been the secret exit? That's okay. It's the heart. Yeah, there it is. Okay. One of these of Yeah, you. Get to the other side. Too far. There I got him. Alright. Okay, but remember, don't go up this time. Take that exit. Let me text my girlfriend here one more time. See here. said it's really nice you know having her in my life nowadays it really is it really is she she watches out for me she really does she really does 16 here we go and here's the key 
Now we just need to find the door. I can't remember where the where the door is. The third set. What the guide says. No. It must be Now I can't get the fucking door because now I don't have a goddamn Power up. I may just die on purpose. Yeah, because there's the door right there. Well, actually come back and do this. But I think that's the secret exit. I think so. I'm thinking that's either the secret exit or something. I don't have enough to play the game. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> hate this shit. I hate it. I hate those fucking enemies. I don't like them. I've never liked them. Because they're so damn cheap. Again, I jumped on his head. I did not jump on the fucking thing. That's what's wrong with this game. It's the fucking hitboxes are bad. All right, at least there's something here. Okay. There it is. Knew that key was around here. That door was around here somewhere. There we go. Yeah. I know we're missing B and C. That's because they're in Mount Teapot. Now, like I said, according to Game Facts, you don't need to finish the level, but I like to do it anyway, because why not? There we go. Die. Die, die. Thank you. No, you don't. There we 
go. Oh, shit. Okay. one I could never get. I used to be really good at this. I used to be able to get all five. Every time. That's not the boss level, is it? I don't think so. Seventeen. There it is. Yep. Okay, so where's the treasure on this one? Um, right, climb the ladder. E. Doors. Okay. I think I know right where it is. Ah! I used to be able to get all the enemies with that lightning. the third day in a row that's the third week in a row that the garbage man's been late usually they're here by 6 a.m i'll be damn i wonder why they changed the time of coming out here i don't know because i hear the garbage man right now well shit if they're gonna be here one o'clock in the afternoon, I'm not gonna rush Tuesdays to get the garbage out, you know? I'm not getting those. Nor am I getting those, because I used to be able to slide and get those, but I, I can't get those anymore. Is it in here? Or is this just the... If you have the key, you can kill about any enemy with it, so... I'm thinking this is just the checkpoint, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Yeah, it's just checkpoint. We'll just take the coins, though. You're supposed to... Um... You're supposed to break those blocks, but... Oh, wait, isn't one of these the... Um... One that you break? I think it is. Well, 
I shouldn't have fucked around. I should have just... Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's in here. That's where it is. It's in here. That's right. You... Yo! I forgot about the ice. And then... We're not gonna get all the coins. I mean, you're supposed to, like, jump on him and... Get him to change his direction and all that. Fuck that. I ain't doing that. For how much trouble I'm having today playing, I'm, I'm not doing that. There we go. Boink. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna stay out of my way, and then you're gonna go like that. Oh. Break those, and we go. Okay. See, I, I couldn't get through that no matter how hard I tried, so. There we go. Get in there. Thank you. Alright. Well, that's all of them for, um, nope, 18. 18's got one, too. him too. Boom! Got him too. Boom! Got him too. Boom! Got him too. All five. Hell yeah. Got Fifty lives out of that. Look at that. <laughs> Fifty lives out of that. <laughs> Fourteen. Nineteen. Four's eighteen. That's nineteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Here we go. Here we go. Get out of my way. Come, bitch. Boom. There's the key door. Okay. So, okay. Boom. Would have been nice if the key was right there. Where is the key? Um. First door, enter it. Go to the other side, hit the block. See a ladder. Okay, I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay, hit that block. And up the ladder we go. Hit another 
another block. Okay. Let me check on her. She's messaging me. Make sure she doesn't need anything. There we go. Okay. Oh, she was just letting me know she was heading out. She was, um, needing to run some errands, so... I always like to tell her, have a safe trip out, you know? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we gotta go back up, don't we? Take the damage boost. Nope. We needed to hit that, didn't we? Hit. Oh well. Oh well. It's just easier for me to do it again, you know? There we go. And that's probably her saying thanks. Just to make sure. Because sometimes she does need something, so. Yep, I just thought, thanks, love, I love you too. Yep. She really is a nice girl. She really is. You know, and like I said, um, she asked me to um, respect her privacy. She didn't want me to uh, tell you all her name or show her show any pictures or anything like that um so you know, like i said out of respect i'm gonna show her i'm gonna um not show her, her picture so okay that makes this so much easier okay I, I knew i was doing something wrong i knew i was doing something wrong go okay now that we have the key now we come back over here drop back down and open the oh i don't think we even hit the block do we nope we don't here we go and here's the treasure all right Here we go. Now we just beat the level. Now we come back. Oh, there we go. Come back in here and hit the block. See, I don't know 
know why, I just love this theme the most. What was it about these old games that had such catchy tunes, you know? Or back then, these games were made with passion, you know? It's not like the video games nowadays where all they care about more is the graphics and all that, you know? stuff at me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Too late. I should have waited, and I just didn't. It's an epic fail right there. Boom, that's how you do that. There, now I can see a little better. Boom, got him too. <laughs> I got life out of it, but you know. There we go. Okay, now we're ready for the boss. You don't have to beat the boss in this game, in this world, but I I like to do it because why not? It's free brownie points, you know. Just knock you over, knock you over. you over because we don't need you spitting any there we go we'll just do that just so you don't cause me trouble now I can't remember how to kill the boss actually to tell you the god honest truth if you get hit by him, they do give you an exit door. You know what this reminds me? Bashing the enemies into each other. You know what that reminds me of is um, Super Mario Brothers 2. Mario Madness. Here's the checkpoint. The only wuss is take the checkpoint. We'll just get rid of that stupid crab. Whoa! And that's why I hate these fucking things. They're cheap. And here's the boss, because now I don't have power up, I can't hit him. Jump on his head once, and then he'll get a thorn crown on his head. And then, you know, so you may as well just exit if you don't have a power-up.
one thing I did find, I, I got looking last night. I found a new way to bread chicken. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try probably tomorrow. I don't have the chicken pulled out, so... Pulled out of the freezer, so... I'll probably give it a try tomorrow. I need to use my potatoes, too, before they go bad. Okay, so back to Mount Teapot. What levels are we looking for here? Um, 9 and 11. Okay. This one's 8. So now we go through the regular exit. I remember the first time playing this game, I didn't even know you could go to Mount Sherbert. I didn't know you could. I... You know, I didn't know there was a secret exit in this stage. I can't even remember how I figured it out. I think I was just screwing around one day and I found it, you know? And as a kid, I always thought the, um, the coin count mattered for the ending, but no, it does not matter for the good ending. And there are multiple endings, and I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. I'm just going to tell you that to get the good ending, you have to get all the treasures. And that's what I'm going for. And I don't care of losing that because I'm getting this. All right. I mean, you, you got to get the good ending. Um, with me learning how to cook and being able to cook nowadays, I would love to meet Gordon Ramsay. I would love to meet Gordon Ramsay someday. It would be so cool to meet Gordon Ramsay, but, you know, I mean, I, I'm no fine dining cook or anything like that, but still, it'd be kind of cool to meet. It'd be really cool to meet him, you know? It really would. It, it'd be really cool to meet him. You know, his sense of humor, his... You know, there was another thing I got kind of thinking about with Gordon Ramsay. Um, you know, he does, he has all those TV shows. Um, not li I don't know why, I got listening to the obstacle course theme of Double Dare. I, I got thinking about that, and I, I was like, you know... Gordon should revive Double Dare, but turn it into a cooking theme show, you know? Like, for the uh, question part of it, um, do cooking questions, and then, um, for, like, the physical challenges and the, um, and the obstacle course, have them, have the contestants run around and, like, I don't know, make something, or... You know, and it, it could be a kid's show. And, um, you know, have the kids, like, mix batters or something. And it'd be the zaniness of Double Dare, but Gordon Ramsay's, um, teaching kids how to cook at the same time, you know? I think Gordon would have fun with it. Would have so much fun with it. I could see him laughing the entire time. While the kids are doing the physical challenges and the, um, and the obstacle course, I could see him just laughing the whole time, you know? His sense of humor. I missed. I was right on that one. Boom, there 
I got him. Fuck. There we go. You know those duck enemies? It reminds me of a kid that um I was friends with around here when I was little. Um, he was the preacher's kid. Um, he had a sister too, but um, and she was cool too. But he um had a um pet duck. He somehow caught a duck and all right. Oh, I know this one. Um. The fourth screen, hit the last block. Okay, and then... Oh, yeah, I know right where it is. Okay, I know right where it is. But anyway, um, he had a pet duck and somehow he caught it. I don't know how he caught it, but he had caught this duck. It was like a common brown duck, you know? It wasn't a mallard or anything, it was just a common brown duck. It was pretty neat! It was pretty neat! And he would have like, um, like he'd have like little, um, like I don't know, aquariums or something, and he'd have like praying mantises and lizards and stuff like that. It was pretty neat! The, the pets he would have, man. I thought it was so cool. He had a tarantula. Scared me to death, but, you know, it, it was still pretty cool to see that he had a tarantula and... And I remember, um, Furby, the Furbies were huge back in the 90s. He got a Furby and ended up taking it apart. <laughs> and we had just gotten the internet out here. So he, I remember he posted a picture of him, of his Furby when he took it apart. It was so funny. It was so funny seeing it being nothing but, like, wires and stuff. <laughs> and we were into Pokemon. You know, Pokemon Red and Blue. That was one game I actually thought about playing was Pokemon Red and Blue because it runs pretty good on this emulator. Um, I've got gold, silver, crystal... Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, you know? And because this one, this emulator, MGBA, can um, have the multiple um, players going at once, you can trade. So that's what I think I will do probably for the next series will be Pokemon. But this game here, I'm not going to do it in series. I'm going to just do it in one video. Because it's not that long. Now this block, I want to leave that block alone. You'll see why in a minute. There's the key. Yep. Alright. So this block here, you break it. And in the door you go. There, we got 100 coins. There we go. In the door we go. For the next treasure. All right. I don't know what is it about all these old games that are just so magical. I, I don't know what. I don't know what it is. But these games are just so much fun. Even though they're primitive, they're just so much fun. They're so much fun to play. Oh, I was too early. late on that one. Yep. Too early on that one. Too early on that one. Dead. I'm not gonna get any of them, I don't think. Yep. I 
it's too early. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's not like I'm hurting for lives anyway. Now, level 11 will be the next level for treasures. Well, for a treasure. So we can just finish this level and not give a shit. Boom. I remember as a kid, um, I used to sneak my Game Boy to school and I would play it on the bus, you know? In grade school, that's when Pokemon Red and Blue first came out and this game first came out. I was in grade school, and so I would sneak it with me to recess. And the teachers didn't care. The teachers didn't care we were playing our Game Boys at recess, as long as we uh, came in when we were supposed to. That's... They didn't care at all, you know? Yet. Me jabbering on like a monkey in a tree here. I'm getting hit, but there we go! We just got... <laughs> My jetpack back. All right. On you go. For how I'm playing, kind of meh. No, I'm not gonna waste the coins. There's got to be a power up here. Yep, there it is. It's right here. There we go. Keep you from giving me problems. But yeah, I remember us as kids, we we all used to sneak our Game Boys to school, and we used to um, play our Game Boys like on the bus or at uh, recess, and you know, it, it was fun. It was fun. See, the problem with the school system nowadays is they just teach crap that you're just never going to use in the real world, and it's just... It's just crap they don't need to be wasting time teaching kids, you know? Even back then, it was bad. I mean, at least they taught you how to read and write back then, but... Nowadays, it's just crap that you're never gonna fucking use, and... education. I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm for education. It's just, you know, we need to redo it. It needs a complete overhaul, is what it needs. The parents need to be more involved than they are, and um, there needs to be cameras in the classrooms, I think, because, I mean, you're hearing it all the time now, the teachers abusing the students, and You know, if we put cameras in the classroom, that shit would stop. Alright, let me see where the key is. Um... Oh, I know right where it is. Okay. 
I know right where it is. Okay. Sorry about pausing, everyone. It just, um, I was just reading the guide and didn't want to, didn't want to waste any of the time on the timer, you know? Hell, when I, when I was older, you know, like 95, 96, I used to be able to, um, speedrun this game. I remember the first time getting the good ending. It, it was actually kind of fun. It, it was. It was fun. Getting the good ending. Because I remember the first time I beat this game, I got the terrible ending. I got the terrible ending. But I was happy to beat the game because I remember the final boss, I couldn't figure out how to beat him. And back then, we didn't have game facts until like 90, what was it, 95 or something like that? No, we ignore this, don't we? I think we do. We do, don't we? No, we don't. We were to go in there, okay. What do we get here? That's what I want to know. The jet pack? We'll take the jet pack if we can. There we go. There we go. Because we do need jetpack for this one. Okay. Okay, so now we need to go and jump these. There's the door. There's the key. See if I can... Nope, I can't be slick and get up there. it up. I fucked it up. There, we got it. Okay. I knew there had to be a second way to do it. Okay, there we go. I knew there had to be a second way. Boom. There we go. Alright, we're caught up on treasure chests right now. Or treasures, I should say. That's all that was, just the checkpoint. Again, you're supposed to get him to go up and down, left and right. Fuck that, I'm not doing that. For how shitty I'm playing today, I'm not doing that. Okay. Now I don't 
don't get why when you progress through the game, Wario gets faster going around those, like, holes. I don't even know why he had to walk around them in the first place. Now we've got them all, all the treasures from Mount Teapot. Now we just need to beat the levels. Oh, I forgot about that. If you throw an enemy in there, you end up getting... Nope. Screwed up. I screwed up. Fuck it, we'll redo it, because I screwed up. There we go. <laughs> screwed up again. There we go. Yeah, I, now I duck there just so that I don't hit the chicken thing. Because if you hit it with your head, you will kill it. And you don't want to kill it while it's dropping coins. Is there a third one? There it is. See, that's what happens. And that's... ghost thing. I hated these enemies, too. There we go. You go. Down you go. Down you go. All right. Now hitting that switch brings the boss level. You'll see in a second. Boom. I didn't mean C, I meant B.
I still got a life out of it, so... <laughs> Okay, here comes the boss level. I've got 83 lives, why do I care about hearts and shit? I don't know, I just like trying to get my life counter up to max, which is 99, but still. It, it is fun to do, it really is. It, it, it's fun to do. It's like in Super Mario Brothers when, um, you wanted to get the 10 lives. Just so you can be King Mario. God, why was that hard to do? I wonder. Trying to get 10 lives in the original Super Mario Brothers. Now, they fixed that in, um, in Super Mario All-Stars on SNES. You don't become King Mario, which kind of sucked. Because that was the fun that was the fun part of playing that game. Here we go. Wait, wasn't there something over here? Nope, just spikes. And there he was, yep, alright. Here we go. That's all you do with this boss. Ah, got them all. Look at that, got all the coins. Fucking, I don't need lives. I've got more than enough. I got more than enough to beat the game, you know? Go can Canyon. Let's see here. Go Canyon. Twenty and twenty-four. Okay. And here we go. Where is the treasures? All the way downwards. Inside. Take it to the other side. Okay, I know right where it is. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot about this. The lava. Remember, I used to have so much trouble with this level. There we go. We're safe now up the ladder. 
case you needed a power up. Because the developers saw this level as a little tough, I think. There we go. We're gonna wait, cause this guy likes giving me trouble. So I can do that. There we go. And 24 is the next stage for treasure. As you can see, I'm not really giving a shit about coins. I mean, really, you need uh, at least 10 to get through the level. Since I only have 10, I'm not going to do the checkpoint, because I don't need it. Ah, you thought you were going to get me. Whoa! Whoa! There, that works. What I was trying to do, just kill you for hearts. you that high, but whatever. Now, like I said in the beginning of this game, the, the coin counter for treasure does not matter. It's all the treasures that matter. right there. That works. He can swim in lava. He can get mushed. Leave this just checkpoint it. Yep. Alright. Oh. Hidden heart. No. Oh. Give me that. I want that.
All right. And 23, so the next level will be the treasure. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Yes, it's the cart. Okay. I think it was this level I used to get stuck on when I was little. This is the one with the secret exit, isn't it? That's right. I know you're supposed to go up there and get the coins. Fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm being lazy. Oh, I about fell because of that secret fucking block. Iso block. Ah! I was too late on the jetpack. That jump's easy to make. I've I've made it many times. Just I'm just out of practice with it. If I can make this. Nope. I know what you're, you're supposed to dash it. That's right. I forgot. You're supposed to dash it. You're supposed to dash it. That's right. You're supposed to dash it. Okay. This is why I gained all those lives in the beginning of the game. This is exactly why I did it. And I fucked that up. If I can quit dying, it'd be, I could get through this level, you know? Go. 
There we got it. See, you just, you gotta know the mechanics of some of these jumps to make them. You're 24, right? Yep, you are 24. All right, where's key at? Um, ladder. Down. Right. Okay, I think I know where it is. Here's the door, but the key is going to take some work to get to. We'll leave that alone. Oh, I don't think we go in here. I think it's the far side, isn't it? There's a hidden lock here. Nope. Alright. Go down the ladder. Yep, here we go. Hit the block. In the water we go. Hit E. Okay. Into the door we go. There we go. We got them all for Stove Canyon. Damn right. This is the way we go, it is. Right. Okay, now we go out the regular exit, which won't be hard to do. We don't have to make that insane jump like we did the first time. take one of my lives back I lost here. There we go. We don't have to go down there this time. There we go. 
now we just need to beat the boss level. We'll go on the next world. Now, I remember I had trouble with this boss when I was a kid. Now this right here is where it gave me trouble. And I got it. There we go. Now this level I might do the... Checkpoint. Because I don't want to do that, um... I don't want to do that jump again, so... Cause that is a tough jump to do. Now later on you'll see me taking checkpoints because some of these levels do get tough. There we go. All right, here we go, boss time. I could have got him a second time, but... Didn't get him that time, though. The throw mechanics are kind of hard on this game. You either throw too high, or you don't throw high enough. This is not the only boss that you have to throw stuff at, you know? I thought he was gonna kill me, but no. I got him first. I got him first. Here we go! The SS Teacock! Level 26, and yep, that's it here. Where's the key? Uh, first screen, second Okay, this one I might have to read to do, because... Fuck it, I'm not getting coins, because I don't need it. No.
Don't enter the door. Oh, is it up here? Okay. That's right. I forgot. It's up here. There it is. Oh, I forgot about those things. And then one of these has the key door, or has the door that has the key in it. I think it does. There it is. Jump down here. Jump over here. Hit the block. There we go. There's the treasure. Okay, now we can get out of here. Crap. I totally forgot about you. There we go. Now we're safely out with the treasure. Okay, so force 29. We'll just kill some enemies here. For how meh I'm playing today, I'm just gonna take it easy in these levels. Because I'm not playing worth a damn today for some reason. There we go. There's a secret over here. Just for coins, yep. And a checkpoint. Oh, 
all that is is a heart, I think, isn't it? One more level, and then we'll go for another treasure. That's why we need the dragon cap, isn't it? There's a hidden door here. The only reason I like Jetpack Wario better is because Jetpack Wario is because he runs faster. Remember right, one of these have got a secret in them. You're just the checkpoint, aren't you? Yep. Slick? Nope, I can't be slick and get them all. I was hoping to get all three, but nope. thing I don't like about Dragon Cap Wario is once if you hit the button to release the fire, you have to wait for it to dissipate before you can get your coin. All right. 29. For another treasure. Where's it at? Okay, I think I know where it is. Oh! Those crocodiles almost got me. <laughs> well. 
I'm going back. I'm getting the uh, power up. There we go. Up the ladder we go. That's where the key door is. Okay. And I think it's left, isn't it? Just for a power up. I know the key's not here, it's further down. Give me that jetpack. As Wario runs with the jetpack. There we go. That works. I believe it's up the ladder. Yes, I know right where it is. This one? Yep. Hide the thwomp up. There we go. Grab the key. I believe it's the first door leads us back to the beginning. It does not. I know one of these doors does. Okay, yeah. I know there was I knew there was a way. I didn't go far enough. Okay. In this door warps us back to the, where we need to go. All right. And here we go. Here we go. We have that one. One more treasure for SST Cup. And it's the next level, too. We're safely out with it. <laughs> Hell yeah.
Yeah, I think I know right where it is. I think I know right where it is. If you're Bull Wario, you can just skip going in this door. So. Got a power up, that'll work. Ladder. There's the key. That door should be around here somewhere. If I remember. There it is. Okay, I knew it was in here. There, now we can go up and take on the boss. I forgot you need dragon cat, don't you? Yep, and that's why. mechanics to this game is really hard. Because you either throw too high or you... Or you don't throw high enough. There we go. Got his ass. There we go. God, I thought he was gonna kill me. Oh well, it's not like I need the fucking coins anyway. Hmm. 
Okay, so Parsley Woods is up next. Level 31, which is next level. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this the one where you gotta drain the water? Yeah, I think in this one's the one that you drain the water. That's right. This is the one where you gotta drain the water and come back. That's right. Yeah, this is the one where you gotta drain the water back. That's right. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Okay, yeah, we're not getting the coins. Fuck that. There we go. Yeah, this is what you do. You come here so you can drain the water. That's right. Out of Parsley Woods. They used to, I thought, when I was a kid, you had to do this to go to Rice Beach, but no, and get the treasure at Rice Beach, but no, 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 you don't do that. Okay. 
Okay, now we go back and we can get the treasure from that last level. Okay, here we go. Couldn't get me. There. Now you could break those blocks and not have to go through the up and down, but fuck it, I'm I'm being lazy, you know. So we'll just do that. God damn it. You can't get Bull Wario. I don't think anywhere around here. So I may have to do this again. Go. We got Bull Wario. Nice. Or Viking Wario, or whatever, you know. I don't know what the instruction manual calls him, but he looks like a Viking to me. You know? And level 34 is the next one for treasures. Oh, I could have dropped down there. Son of a bitch. That's okay. I forgot. That's okay. This one's a catchy tune. I used to play this level over and over and over just to listen to this theme over and over. Because <laughs> this was the days before YouTube, so you couldn't hear game soundtracks, you know? We go.
we go. Nope, we're not going for it. Now, I know you could have ducked, and I should have ducked. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay low on that one, cause fuck it. Ugh. Goddamn hay fever's making my nose itchy. Here we go. Oh, I think I know right where it is. If I didn't need 10 coins to beat the level, I wouldn't be getting coins, you know? They're not causing me trouble.
here we go. And head back down. Right door. Okay. Sweet. For a baseball glove. <laughs> what are they, Casper? Anybody who's seen Casper the Friendly Ghost movie, he had a treasure inside this haunted house and his treasure was his ball glove and a baseball. <laughs> How you do that? Okay, and that's it for Parsley Woods. Now we just need to beat the boss, and then we'll go to the final area. We'll go to the final world, or final final area, or whatever. You know. we go. The enemy's out of the way. Boom, and a freebie. Take the freebie. You know? I don't know if it's if you go fast enough or what. I don't, I don't know what it is. 
how you get freebies. Or if it's predetermined what levels are freebies or what, I don't know. But here's the boss level, Parsley Woods. You're gonna see here in a minute, this is the most hated boss. hate this boss because if he hits you, you stand there and shake. Got him. Got him one. <laughs> See, I hate the... I hate the throw mechanics of this game. I really do. Got him. Got him first try, too. Last time I did this, this was like a few years ago. Um, it took me like, I don't know, seven, eight times to get him, but I got him first try. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're going to the final area of the game. Which is Sir Castle. So levels 37, 39. And that's it. 37 and 39. Those are the last two treasures. And this is 37. So where are we going? Okay. I know where this one is. Okay. It was pick your poison at that point. It wouldn't let me jump. God, I'm not a teenager living with my dad and my stepmom nowadays because 
every time I would say something like that, oh, it's not the game, it's the player, you, you just need to do better, you know, they would just openly mock me. But if I did it to them, it was like I was committing murder, you know, they would... They would say, oh, you need to quit saying that, you need to quit saying that, but then I'd call them out on what they do to me, and, well, you, you just don't need to let it bother you, and, you know, it's that's not how you raise kids, I'm sorry. You don't openly mock your kids, and then when they stand up for themselves, you punish them, you know? And these old games, they have flaws. They really do. It's just back then, they never thought people would have trouble with them. Okay, one more treasure and then we'll have them all. And it'll be next level. Let's see where you're going to land. There we go. Now we got enough to make it through the level. We made it. There. End of the level here. Cool.
Okay, so course 39. We need Bull Wario. Which is right here. There we go. we go. There's the key door, which we need Dragon Warrior for. There's the key. I'm gonna have to throw it down. Get in there. Stupid key. And there's the last treasure. There we go. There we go. That's the last treasure. Sweet, we got them all. So now when we beat the game, We'll have 100%. This one's a hard jump. You gotta wait until 
there we go. We got it. I used to have so much trouble as a kid getting that jump. Boom. There we go. And I believe the next level is the final level. I believe so. Yes, it is. It's the final level. Here we go. Oh, Izo block. I think this is the checkpoint. Yes, it is. We'll take it because it's the final level. We'll take it. All right, we're going to wuss out and just walk over that. And that's why I took the checkpoint. Because I knew I'd do something stupid like that. And I knew I'd do something stupid like that, too. There we go. This is the final door. Not sure. Nope. Oh, you gotta beat the knight. That's right. This is it. Yep, this is it. The Pirate Princess. Now, to beat this boss, that magic lamp on the floor, you have to throw it and get it to land upright. Once it lands upright, it'll shoot a cloud that you jump on, and then you jump on the genie's head. I didn't know that as a kid. Almost got a twofer out of it. I think you gotta hit him like eight times, I think. Oh, I almost got a threefer out of it. Oh, I almost got a 
almost got a twofer out of it, too. Whoa! Nice! <laughs> That's how you beat him! <laughs> Oh, so Surf, Surf Castle hit a Princess Peach statue. Which Wario's like, yeah, it's mine! But then in comes Mario and he just steals it. Poor Wario, he worked so hard to uncover that statue and then in comes Mario and steals it from him. <laughs> Okay, so Mo Wario's gonna use the genie lamp, and he's gonna get a wish. So the genie said you can have one wish. So Wario's thinking, what's he gonna wish for? He wants a castle of his own. So Genie says, okay, but I want money. Your wish ain't gonna be free, I need money. So, to get the castle, you have to have all the treasures. The coin count does not matter. Now, depending how many coins you have, if you don't have all the treasures, depends on what kind of house Wario gets. The worst one is like a tree stomp. The, the mid-range one is like a house, and the third one's the castle. But because we have all the treasures, we're going to get the castle. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the end here. Um, I wish you could skip this, but you can't. But yeah, I remember the first time I beat this game, I didn't have any of the treasures, I just had coins. And then, like I said, I think I figured out where some of the treasures were just by screwing around one day, and... Then Game Facts became a thing, when it, I think it was like 96 or something like that. Um, I can't remember when Game Facts first came, came around, but I looked it up on Game Facts, and that's where I found all the treasure locations, and that's where this game, this guide came from, was Game Facts. Last treasure. Okay, now we're counting up all the money that Wario got for all those treasures.
Here we go. See, the genie's actually pretty greedy. <laughs> There's the castle. There's the castle. And we got the castle. And this is the best credit steam, I think. Hell yeah. I just I just remember the first time beating this game and hearing this theme. It's like, yeah, it, it, it just seemed like you accomplished something, you know? And I remember the first time getting the castle. I was maybe seven or eight years old when I got the castle for the first time. You know? I, I don't know. What is it about these old games that just... Just seem so magical, you know? But anyway, that's Wario Land 3. Uh, or Wario Land, Super Mario Bros. 3 on um, Game Boy. I was using the MGBA um, emulator. And boy was... I like this emulator, it's really great. Um, I like that it keeps Aspect. Um, I don't know, the next game I might put in an overlay, I'd have to see. Um, yeah, I'd have to see. But, um, like I said, I'm kind of thinking of doing Pokemon, doing all the Pokemon games for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Because I've, I've gotten all 150 in red and blue, but I've never done it in yellow, and I've never done the Pokedexes after Gen 1. So, that'd be something fun to do. It really would be. It really would be, you know? So that, that's what I think my next plan's gonna be. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, I think that'd be fun. Um, Gen 2, I'm gonna do some breeding because I finally learned after all these years how the breeding works. And so... So I'll be doing that. What I would have really loved to do when it came to breeding I would have loved to do it on Pokemon Stadium, the Pokemon Stadium games. You could totally break the Pokemon Stadium games with the breeding. It's just a shame I didn't know how um, the breeding worked when I was a kid. But yeah, I'm thinking Pokemon Red and Blue will be first, and then I'll do Yellow. And then um, I'll just go from there on the Pokemon games, I think. And I'll do it in sections. I'm not going to do it in one big video, because it'd take me like fuck, 12, 13, 14 hours, you know? So I'm going to split it up into sections, like Pallet Town, or Pallet Town, Viridian, and Pewter. And then, um, then the next video would be Mount Moon, and Cerulean, and Nugget Bridge. And then, um, and the, you know, so on and so forth. And I will get all the Pokemon in the games, so... Because you can trade, so... With this emulator, so... But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope y'all had fun. I sure did. And I'll see y'all in the next video.